Hey, it's Mr. Miller. Today we're going to talk about using a triple beam balance and how to find the mass of an object. Alright, first thing you want to do is notice we have everything over to the right. Before we begin, we have to move all the risers over to the zero. So at this point, slide everything over. If it's balanced, what you'll see is that line, the white line on the arm, will be balanced and in line with the white line for the zero and it is. So now we are able to begin. If it wasn't, you would actually turn this knob towards you to make it come down or away from you to have it go up. But in this case we don't need to do anything because it's already balanced. Now take your object carefully, set it in the middle of the pan, and it's time to record our mass. First thing you want to do is move the center riser. It's the largest one, that's the one you want to start with. So what we do is we move it into the notch, nothing happens. Move it over one more time, nothing has happened. Move it over one more time. Alright, now it dropped all the way down. That means it's too much. So go ahead and move it back one notch, go to the next riser in the back. Move it over a notch. Nothing happens. Keep moving it over each time until it drops all the way down. Notice I'm putting it into the notch. All right, now it's dropped all the way. Move it back one. Now what we want to do is fine tune it with the front one. So we just keep moving this one over until we start to see that arm come down. And we're getting close. Now what we want to do is we want to just keep moving it a little bit each time until we see that white line even with the white line for the zero. Nothing's happening yet. All right, now we're getting close. So we might bring it back just a little bit more. And sometimes I'll put my finger down here to stop it from moving. And we are good to go. So now it is balanced. So what you want to do is add up the mass. So it's 200 plus the back, which is 30. So that's 230 plus 8 point, oh, we'll call that 8.9. So 238.9 grams is the mass of our object. Now that we're done, we take our object back off and we move everything back to the zero for our next object. But before we begin, we have to make sure that everything is balanced. And if it is, we can start again. Alright, that's how you use the triple beam balance.